This week on NSFW, we are joined by K Cool Man himself. Yes, Spill.com's own Corey Coleman. We talk about movies, we talk about Dragon Con, we talk about life, but most importantly, we talk about actor Tony Cox. Woo! It's an all new episode of NSFW Show starting right now. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW episode 144, recorded on September 11th, 2012, the Colombian Q tip. For the Webernets. Howdy, folks. I'm your friend Brian Brushwood. Joined as always by the inimitable co host flashing them diamonds in the sky. It's none other than your professor and mine, Mr. JRY. What is going on, my doctor? Oh, good God. Christ, uh, Brian. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus on a pony. He, uh, he's on a trick pony and he's doing backflips on it. That's what Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is doing. Well, I don't know why, because he's so goddamn happy See? that Corey Coleman's See? back on the show. See? Corey, Corey Coleman. He can, he, you know, why does he get to speak his mind? I got to sit back here and be censored. I, I think it's racist. It's vocabulary. It and everybody, it's welcome. Out. I'm your neighborhood silly Negro, Corey Coleman, <laughs> with the foul mouth, but I've been shut down tonight. I agree. I think this is, this is an atrocity. Let, is all right, is. let's just pull Can't back the curtain myself. a little bit for audio listeners. There was a bit of a a, a <laughs> question uh, about Corey's language, and it wound up getting us muted during the pre-show. Sorry. So any unbridled rage expressed by Corey <laughs> is because we have told him not to curse. It's amazing. Well, I, I just don't feel like I can express myself properly tonight like I usually do. You, you think that's a, like a my people kind of thing? It's like this is how we talk? And you I just think need that's to... some downright racism right there. <laughs> raw, raw system. <laughs> so racist is raw. <laughs> raw this, this is racist is Ross on friends. That's how racist you are. I have, raw I have you know my feet are shackled right now. And <laughs> oh, my God. All right. And these like... two beers we have on the table I brought up on a silver platter. And, that, and, and, and just like that, I guess it's time to jump. Jump in to, to our whole story tonight. Okay, so listen, we were thinking, we were thinking, we, we were so stoked that you were that you were available for us this time. And so the first thing we thought yes. of is is we need to have something that gives us the opportunity to sort of riff as as a threesome here and come up with ways to make our favorite movies even better. So what we came up with, well, why don't you walk us through it here, Justin? All right, so uh, listen, we all got movies we really, really love, but there's also other things we really, really love. Like, let's say uh, I really like, for example, Dances with Wolves, right? But then I also like <laughs> car chases. <laughs> there isn't a car chase in Dances with Wolves. So what we wanted to do is have people uh, tweet in or talk in the chat room if you're watching this live with a favorite movie of yours and then, uh, you know, something that would make it better. Like, uh, Brian, give us the example. Uh, okay, that well, here, here, here's what I was thinking. Like, so it's like we say, name a movie that we all love. And then, we, and then everyone floods us with movies here. And we pick one. Like, for example, Star Wars, right? And then we say, name something we all like. And then somebody says, uh, uh, boobs. <laughs> Sure. And who so, doesn't like those? It's exactly, right? You took it's, mine, by the way. And so it would be up <laughs> Not to my us. booze, but you took my pick. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. It would be it would, so. It would be up to us to figure out uh, what a logical scene to integrate into Star Wars would be that would give us the thing that that, that we want. Man, you've seen a lot of movies, right? 
more beer for you, Mr. Brush Wilson. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry, no. I, I have seen a lot of movies. That's what I do. All I right. do see a lot of movies, and I, I think I can do this. You know what? I just realized we should probably introduce, for people who have never heard Corey Coleman on the show before, <laughs> he's the creator and host of Spill.com, uh, the best movie review site in not the world. Not really, but you're very polite to say that, and by the time this is done, you will not want to hear me again. That's, <laughs> I, do not, I do not know where they have me back. Lies! You're the emperor of Spill.com and, uh, and the convention, Spill.com. Hey, tell Tell me real quick uh, before we get started. Uh, yes, this thing is blowing up, man. You guys have more people than ever this every year, year, right? Yeah, every year it gets bigger. Yeah, every, every summer we throw something called Spill.com for our fans. Uh, it's just a way for me to try to meet underage girls every now and then. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Listen, you need to get no, them down there some no, way. No, 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 no. It's, 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 a, it's an appreciation day for our – actually, an appreciation weekend for our fans. And we just invite people to come out and hang with us. And just we just try to connect with people. It's not it's not about ego. It's about connecting with the people. Well, and I'll tell you what, man. It's, it's amazing and electric, the energy. I know last year you had me perform. And then later that night you had Del the Funky Homo Sapien. You got up on stage and performed with him, right? Yeah, yeah, I actually, you have it wrong. We couldn't afford Dell the Funky Homosapien. We actually got Dell the Funky Homosexual to come out <laughs> and perform for us. The next, next best thing, you know. You yes. lied, you lied. It was magic. It was he amazing. Was hanging out in downtown we Austin. Spent... You can really just get him with $2 and a handshake. Yeah. You know, I went right under the bridge and had to do a few favors to get him. But we spent all our money on you, Brian. <laughs> so... I was, I'm sorry that I wasn't there for that. That would have been delightful. And I just had to box the sack. So, the sack on you a little bit so you know was, thank you for but you know you've been a big supporter and you've been a good friend you've been like a really close friend of mine well, and for people, years people don't realize like like this is how back the appreciation goes uh i'm sure we told the story on the air at some point but it's like uh, i first saw you when i was in college you guys were reviewing the special editions for on on community access television yes before there was spill there was the real deal right yes and then uh and then uh and then uh, i guess flash forward like four years later uh, I I met you at the Community Access Studios. I was like, holy crap, it's Corey, it's Corey Coleman. Yeah. And I invited you to come watch me eat fire. And then yeah. uh, and it was because I was like, well, that, you know, hey, tonight. Was I'm that an be- awkward request, by the way? Like, hey, you want to come watch me eat fire? I, <laughs> I, fire I really fire. like your show. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take some hot stuff and put it in my <laughs> mouth. Why don't you come watch? I said, well, why wait? <laughs> 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 we can do that right here. This is a trick that I do every weekend. What are you talking about? No, I... <laughs> But it, How many years did you practice for that? But it was awesome because, like, after that moment, you were like, uh, oh, yeah, no, I'll make sure to come see your gig tonight. And I was like, wow, Corey Coleman's so nice that he pretended like he was going to come to my gig tonight. Never, never thought that you were actually going to come out and see that live show. Man, people, you know, I, I really, this is a good thing about meeting people like you. Sure. Is that you you, you think I'm more than I am, and when you meet me, it's actually yeah, dude, cool. well, you're, yeah, you're louder than you are. And, and, yeah, more <laughs> louder than I've ever been. And then when you actually get to know me, you realize just how much of a shitty I, <laughs> I and, uh, how much of a, I just how much of a of, of a nobody I really am. You're not though. I, but but a... I get to, this is a trick. You okay. know, I get to like hang out with somebody's like you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Well, I mean, in the war of self-deprecation aside, what I love is that it's like I was so stoked to get to meet you because, you know, to me you're famous because you're on Community Access Television. But then flash forward. <laughs> and I should tell you something right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a flash forward. Giant warped sense of fame. <laughs> <laughs> Flash forward eight years later, where we're at my parents' house, you're dressed in like a, a, a banana hammock with a bottle of tequila in your hand in my parents' pool shouting, I'm God, MFers! <laughs> I believe it was I'm God, mother five. Ah, yeah. It was close. And, uh, it was close. You know, it, it was, it, yeah, it was close. End up, this by is the way. into a vaudeville routine, by <laughs> the way. <laughs> I, I should just walk down the street in like uh, some sort of thong. Or, what, as you say, what did you say, banana hammock? Yeah, that's it was, right. It was not tequila, though. No, what was it? it? I'm, a, I'm a lightweight. It was wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I mean, it two, was a fine chablis. <laughs> <laughs> two sips and I'm God. <laughs> I'm God, mother. <laughs> this is the truth story by the way I was, I was his, his what uh your best what, what are your best friends yes jason murphy yeah sure jason murphy bless the heart jason murphy in his in his very close girlfriend at the time yes were, they were two they were huddled together hugging each other in a hot tub too scared to get out because they thought i would attack or something if they moved too suddenly you know they they thought they treated me like i was a t-rex like if they didn't move i really wouldn't see them <laughs> so, yeah and then, and then you snuck up in the bush beside them, and they were like, clever Corey. 
<laughs> well, I, girl. well, you should have seen later tonight when I when I was so drunk, I had this. I don't know. I was trying to live out my different stroke set fantasy, and I was like, and I crawled in the bed with them. <laughs> Can I sleep with you guys tonight? <laughs> It was fun times, though. I mean, now, whoever would have thought that me meeting you at that access station would have led to me coming out to your parents' house and hanging out and me being here like this? Yeah, just, sure. You know, terrifying that poor couple. That's right. Yes. Ter- 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 terrifying <laughs> young white couples everywhere, <laughs> <laughs> proclaiming I'm black God. and all. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful, wonderful time. Great all memories. right. So, so real quick, everybody in the chat room, and of course we want to thank our fine friends over in the chat room for joining us, but everyone in the chat room, I want you guys to be thinking now about movies and situations you want to throw out there. Look, it looks like we're in an earthquake. This is this is uh, Corey's, Corey's I'm foot sorry. doing, I, doing you the know, dance I, over I, here. God. I shouldn't have done the heroin before I left. <laughs> <laughs> see, no. there it is. Uh, okay, all right, but all right. So, so, and listen, we'll, we'll have those come in, Brian. If you see any, just kind of keep them in your mind. Same with you, Corey. I'll keep my eye on the okay. on the chat room here. But we do want to go over one thing because this is our first episode since Dragon Con, and we did just want to kind of fill people in on uh, you know what 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 went down at the party. We talked a lot about the party. We obviously spent a lot of the uh, the money on the party, so. Uh, Brian, what, 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 how would you describe? Dude, let me just say right now in the chat room, if you guys have links to the stuff that actually happened during the, the party, please, please, please send those over right now because it was Dragon Con. Of course, you watched the episode where we appeared live at Dragon Con. Uh, you didn't see the stuff behind the scenes where in true uh, NSFW fashion, we decided the morning of the show what we were going to try to do. But it was it was amazing. So that whole the night before, we, uh, we had our party at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. Big, big thanks to Mr. Dodd Vickers for making that possible for us. Absolutely. Gee, fancy pants, hoity-toity place, right? And so we show up, uh, and, and we don't have a lot of money. We're, we, we get enough, like... Um, you know, uh, food for about 150 people. We get uh, we get like 120 drink tickets, and the drink Which, tickets. By the way, not a lot of money is more money than I would have ever imagined spending on anything <laughs> that lasted for three hours. Well, that's true. <laughs> that is true. It was way expensive, but that, but that's just it. Is we didn't have enough money to go like really beyond beyond that, right? So well, sure, yeah. I mean, I guess I, I would have no idea. Like, I mean, like that was over the top for what I think we we wanted to do, and and luckily. Well, I think we definitely got our money's worth. You know, we definitely did. You know, we I think we're a lot rowdier than most people that are coming to the, the congressional room. Well, at the and, and that was my favorite part Atlanta. was how we kept explaining to them, like, now you understand there'll be probably, you know, more than 100. We don't know how many people there are, and they're going to be loud. And they, and they keep reiterating two things. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. You will have the entire floor. There's nothing else going on. We want you to have a good time. And there's a cash bar there, right? Yeah. And so uh, we uh, – so so – we suspect we have all the elements for the party because we got food, we got booze, and we're spreading the word. But we have no idea what kind of clout we have. We have no idea. You know, we suspect a lot of people are going to show up. We hope they will. Certainly, there's a lot of noise on Twitter. But there have been projects in the past that we have committed ourselves to, and then nobody really showed up for. So we didn't know how it was going to go. And so the day and on top And also, we've been actively keeping it secret. Yes. Like we, we had kept the location secret and I, I really don't know if it if there was a lot of plan to that like it was just like i guess like we didn't want to totally like put pedal to the metal invite everybody really publicize it because we didn't know what kind of reaction was going to be that if we just packed out you know the ritz carlton and we had people hanging from the chandeliers and, well, and we also didn't know it. what we had heard was that part of the way they run those parties is that once they run out of food they automatically re-up the food and then there are stories of people who just say yeah, yeah more food and then the next day they get these outrageous bills and at the at what they're charging for food like each drink ticket represented 20 copies of the diamond club for, yeah, so right. every time so, somebody was drinking something, I was like, make the most expensive drink you possibly can. Yes. Yeah. All right. And there are actually some funny stories with that. Uh, but well, I asked people a couple weeks ago on this very, very show to go ahead and fill out an RSVP list of who was coming to Dragon Con. And I said there was a reason for it, and this was the reason for it. At the point that we had to make a decision on drink tickets, I took that number and said, okay, let's double it so everybody who has listed on there gets two drink tickets. And so now, this was at the time, I guess you had 60 people on that list and you figured, 60 okay, 60 people. people would be great. Let's do this. Yeah. So uh, we did 120 drink tickets. Now, a couple things happened past that. Number one, I realized that a drink ticket equals 
the most expensive drink they could possibly make. So no matter plus, what you plus drink. Plus more money. Plus more money. Like I think it was $2 above the most expensive drink, if I remember correctly. Okay, yeah. I, I guess I, I just assumed that we were buying the most expensive thing. <laughs> no, uh, and then some, apparently. So, yes. So for the privilege of us having a ticket, we can charge $2 on top of the most expensive drink. Uh, and also, that number of 60 ballooned to what? Like 300 by the time that we actually got? Oh, my God. The- no, it was ridiculous. And on top of that, like, uh, we're trying and to... And it was just insiders who knew to go to the site and fill out on the list. It's not like we made a big deal about that or ever put that on Twitter or anything. Right. And so, and on top of that, we go to these different uh, panels where we're on stage. And at this point we're like, it would be more embarrassing to have not enough people show up than too many, like too many at this point, they've made clear, like they can deal with it. And it's like, it's not going to be a problem. So we're like, Hey, by the way, don't forget our party. No, don't forget our party. And so flash forward to the day. Uh, And that only happened a week out. I mean, sorry, a day out. Yes. Like we signed, we put our name on the dotted line on that 24 hours before we had the party. And yes. so it was once that was signed for. Uh, and by the way, there's a moment, and I have no idea whether this panel is even on the internet anywhere, but the panel, the tech panel with me and Brian, where I actually, for the first time, showed Brian the dollar amount that we were spending on drink tickets alone. Yes. There's just an audible gasp of a man That's... who's had to balance budgets for a family of two and three quarters. <laughs> just going, well, what? We're spending what on what? No, it was, it was amazing. So I, at this point, like we suspect we're going to be covered. We're expect, uh, we, we think we have all the elements last minute. We get to two musical performers. We get to, and, and what is Andrew's last name? Andrew, Andrew Allen, Allen, Andrew Allen, uh, smooth federation. Go ahead and buy, uh, that album right now, it's jazz covers of every Star Trek theme, including some of the favorites like uh, like the one from A Mock Time and uh, all the each series. He does a jazz rendition of, uh, you know, uh, Deep Space Nine and Enterprise and everything. Right. So so uh, and then on top of that, of course, we get your friend of mine, Alex Spagnola, who opened our live stage show. She flew down just on the rumor of there being an amazing party of Diamond Club people. She she came down on her own dime and she just said, the only thing I care about is is if I don't sell enough shots to cover my flight, uh, will you guys make up the difference? And we're like, are you kidding? That would be amazing. We're honored that you would come down. So she comes down on faith. Uh, and we're also like, oh my God, please buy enough shots. Yes, yes. Please, right? That things. sounds like prostitution to Just, me. Oh, hold I'm on. Saying, I just, <laughs> what kind of racket is she pulling, man? <laughs> I just want to insert myself right now. Right, I'm, I'm sitting over here. Just... Yeah, that's right. yeah, well, and, and I, and I know still that, here, people. That's, 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 that's good. You do that. Keep doing that. <laughs> so, so, we, uh, uh, so, so we think we have all the elements, and we show up the night of the party. We show up like 15 minutes before go time. There's the Ritz-Carlton people setting everything up. They got the, they got the cash bar kind of half set up. And inside are already like 30 or 40 people standing around in dead silence. And it's just raining awkward on the setup right now. So it's like, like we show up, nothing's happened. Everyone's there. They're waiting for like, which to be fair, raining awkward is also kind of like convention norm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, you get that very close to what is going on at, and, and, and and Dragon Gun is a very inclusive, as I'm sure spill.con is, you know, you have a bunch of people who let's say on average might not be the most, outgoing people hey, don't don't don't, don't lump me don't lump me don't lump me up with your nerd crap right? <laughs> oh okay i'm Jesus. sorry it's just right. a bunch of swinging like... wieners and hot yeah, sexy yeah. ladies at the movie site convention yeah. just because you hang out with a bunch of geeks and losers, don't put... no, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it's, cool. just, it's just nothing but but hot cocaine lines and orgies <laughs> at the yeah, board convention nothing but powdered cleavage everywhere you look <laughs> at spill.com <laughs> <laughs> and I ass crack every now and then. Can I say that at least? Yes, you can. Okay. You can. In fact, I can almost guarantee you that before the show's over, there's going to be a Photoshop of an advertisement for Spill.com that has Corey on it and powdered breasts. Powdered breasts and every now and then sugary coated ass crack. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's it. <laughs> hey, but please continue. <laughs> so, One right. guy with gold chain after another doing a shot of Frangelica from the butthole of a hooker. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, now see, what kind of show is this, man? You told me this was family entertainment, and I had to behave myself. I said there were words you can't use. You can say okay. butthole. No, apparently. <laughs> what about booty hole? Okay, I think that's be better. Booty hole is actually encouraged. We actually we we give you a two 
two cent bonus. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I just real quick? Can yeah, I actually sure. quote the the classic Wesley Willis song, "Lick a Camel's Booty"? Oh, yes, sure. Yeah. That's okay. you, you, as you just did. That's, okay. So, okay. What do I so, go free? Go ahead. So okay. So all the elements are there. It's time for the show. We show up like ten minutes early. We have no. We think we have everything. We barely last minute. Thanks to uh, Brian Ibbett and uh, uh, yeah. for helping to secure uh, a, a a PA system. Uh, thank you also to Brian Dunaway for uh, yeah. for bringing uh, the the mic stand to make that possible and so we're there we're like oh crap the party's happening and then we start handing out a few drink tickets and then at some point we turn to andrew and we're like go ahead and start playing and god he starts playing smooth classy jazz and it's like it just classy the hell up it's like all of a sudden everyone's holding goddamn martinis and just, uh, uh, in fact, there's a great photo of, of Bill Duran getting utterly trashed, dressed as a, as a Mass Effect guy along with Tensor Guy. I'm sure they'll give it in the chat room. But it was like, all of a sudden, it, it was classy as F word. And, and, all of a, and for the next hour, we sat around feeling like, uh, like, like, like emperors. Like Hefners. Yes, exactly. Like it was, you it was, Hefners. It was, it, was the, it was like a horror movie, the Hefnering. It was, yeah. it was unreal. <laughs> here we go. We got a couple of photos we, we all experienced the Hefnering. There like, you go. Like Highlander. Right here. This is this is uh, this is what we all turned into. And keep in mind, everybody's dressed in like video game costumes, and they're dressed as outrageous characters. Okay, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing class about Marcus Phoenix drinking out of a champagne glass. That's ain't right. Ain't <laughs> all right. That's, that's about as classy as powdered a, booty hole. It's okay. about as <laughs> martini. If that makes a difference. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. It is. A... And it's also Commander Shepard. But the... don't give a damn. <laughs> I know you don't. <laughs> it looks weird. Ain't nothing classy about that. He looks. He actually. You know, he looks like the guy huh. that's dressed up like Commander Shepard. Yeah. I for, for a little while. Whoa, I thought wow. He was, I thought you were about to win the belt. Keep going. No, no, I'm not. No, for a little while. Tell me he does not look like. And he, there's only one that one working black midget in Hollywood. You know which one I'm talking about. Oh wait, the one that was in uh, Bad, Bad Santa. Santa? Yeah. yeah. Tell me he doesn't look like that black midget right there. Oh my he God, doesn't. I'm gonna have to go back. <laughs> Chat room, chat room is gonna have a comparison here in like five seconds. That's gonna be amazing. That's what I'm here for, man. Tony Cox, a little said, bit. Man, and that's right. Tony I'm here Cox. to compare people to black midgets. <laughs> people, are, look, they're already naming them. Apparently, the guy's name's Tony Cox. That's amazing. <laughs> people are saying, "I'm so very sorry." I see. Yeah, it. No, he was in me, myself, and Irene, and yeah, he's hilarious. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta see. Tell me you don't see that, people. <laughs> All right, we'll, I'm not we'll, crazy. We'll, 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 take it <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this mystery. Damn, I'm glad I'm here tonight. <laughs> Bring the hard truths, Corey as Coleman, as dropping as truth I, bombs. As are we. But the important thing is, like, so we got to feel classy for about an hour and a half, and then Alex Spagnola jumps up and starts rocking her uh, her power hour party. And and by the way, I don't know if you, you were here for this episode, Corey, but basically uh, Alex Spagnola does a concert mm -hmm. of 60 one-minute-long songs, and at the end of each song you do a shot of beer. So by the end of the hour, you've done a power hour. We've done 60 shots. You're marked up beer. by the end of it. Yeah, the, the, indeed, you are. You are a bit altered. Uh, and so uh, you're, you're ready to put on the banana hammock and start terrorizing white. God, God is he off? <laughs> well, Tony Cox said I saw him somewhere. <laughs> he got taller <laughs> and wider and wider. <laughs> Amazing. Must have been so, doing that cane. Look at him. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me go. Of course, back. I'm talking about young, younger Tony Cox. I don't want to insult <laughs> Commander Shepard that much. Hold on, there's, hold on, wait, that's uh, that's you. There we go. Okay, so we got a better one. Better <laughs> You know what? I actually see it. Just tell me it's, you don't see it. You know, I, maybe I can, I'm, I'm I can totally see it. I want to see him play Commander Shepard <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> I don't know. I would love that. Hollywood announces today that Tony Cox will be playing Commander Shepard in the <laughs> Mass Effect so, motion picture. So before too long, uh, of course, once everyone starts drinking, uh, it, the, the party is completely insane. And before we know it, we got situations like this happening. Right here. Here we go, Leo. Oh, look at Bill Oh my god, that was amazing. Uh, boy, it looked like somebody forgot to lock the doors at the goddamn mental home in their place. 
I will, we'll cop to that. That's about, yeah. that's about right. And it looks, it looks where's, awesome. Where's Phil at Dragon Con, man? You guys got to come out to Dragon Con. You got a home on the podcast panel. You got to take that crap to another level. I will actually join you guys at Dragon Con next time you go. All right. And then, of course, uh, we also opened the show on on uh, our main show night with Old John Smokey. But first, he made an, a personal appearance. Old John Smokey. Old John Smokey. And his we, were we were here for a while. <laughs> uh, and we went back. We came back. And then we so uh but by the way way, i do want to point out you know for those and i know there's a few cranks on the message boards that talk about how tom Merritt and and old john Smokey are are the same thing but they were both at that party so i don't know what everybody's talking about i think it's the same you can file that one under people that say we don't didn't land on the moon stuff like that (laughs) so we can finally put that rumor to bed is what you're saying rumor's done all right how is old john Smokey? smoky otherwise the powdered booty hole (laughs) powdered (laughs) booty hole Uh, that, I believe that's his new his new uh, album that he's working on. We have a spinoff show called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for like like special this fall at Dunkin' Donuts. It's the powder. <laughs> <laughs> you like, you can come in and get a tall cup. Of we actually Dunkin have video with. Oh, Six powdered, powdered booty hole. Don't, don't no, see that. not, not yeah. a powdered booty hole. Look, we actually have video. There's video of Old John Smokey next to Tom Merritt. Clearly, they're not the same person. So I think that's that's proof. That's proof from now on. It's amazing. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still cracking up over Dunkin' Donuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, I would actually buy that and eat that if they had. It I'm sure you would. Today, I'm back on the East Coast, man. I miss Dunkin' Donuts. And they were like, like, man, we will get you six powder booty holes for three dollars. <laughs> yeah. Let's just open up our own store. D- you know, Jesus. Corey's donuts. Powdered booty hole. Corey's donuts and ho nuts. Come and get the powdered booty hole. Limited time only. <laughs> <laughs> Make all these donuts and honuts, <laughs> yo nuts, when you come down. <laughs> we can do this, man. We can make this happen. Wow. Now, now I'm getting worried about the photoshops. Um, <laughs> yeah, Justin, yeah. Hey, Justin, <laughs> Justin, do you know if we have any... Uh, if we have any sponsors for this episode, it feels yeah, like we Dunkin should Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts, right? <laughs> 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 uh, I'm going to rely on John for that one because I did not get anything. Yeah, I, I I did not either. John, if you can chime in at any moment, let us know if we want to take a moment to thank our sponsors. If we only knew who they were, that's the important thing. Wow. No this, ads. No ads. This episode brought to you by... Corey's Donuts and Whole Nuts. <laughs> the Powdered Booty Hole. <laughs> oh, what is that? It's a powder. That's your confection right there. Some... Okay, it doesn't look as appetizing as I thought. <laughs> It actually yeah, looks yeah, tastier. Yeah, sorry, I think we might need to uh, rethink this. I don't know, but see, the rectum is on a, is is blown out. It's okay, all right. You know, I'm just. It's not supposed to go the other way. You see, that's why. Oh, not a prolapsed powdered booty hole. Is it, is it that's not lab? how I am pick. That's not how I envision the powdered booty hole. Who did this? Okay, well, that man fired. All right, moving along. Let's talk about movies. I didn't want to take it to this level, by the way. I'm sorry. I want to be classy. <laughs> this, this is, we're trying to, uh, you know, move this country forward with entrepreneur real <laughs> Damn, that does not look right. That's what we're talking about here. The powder booty holes. Uh, no. You know what? Right. I'll tell you, Brian, I don't appreciate your mockery. Me and Corey are <laughs> trying to make some magic here. No, what you, All right, let's go back. That's, that's what, hey, that's, that, I, no, oh, I know, that's the, that's the dessert called the dookie nut. I don't <laughs> They got, they got the wrong picture, man. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. But I love uh, the, that the somebody would... Damn, those Photoshop people are quick. <laughs> Tony damn. Cox. Quick Tony on the Cox. draw with that. Yeah, is that Bill Duran of PunishProps.com right there? Why are we showing the same picture? <laughs> Woo, Tony Cox only likes now two I'm things. Serving powdered booty holes and dookie nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I tell you what. Could what, you, what, could, what? You, could I have one of those beers, please? Yes, you can, because clearly you need one. Well, that'll set me free, I tell you. <laughs> I was dead. You're just for it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You know, it's 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 uh, it's in the last fifteen minutes of Footloose, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, man. We uh. 
we uh, we're erratic on our schedule. <laughs> Sometimes you go from one to ten very fast, but this is one to a thousand right from the beginning. Holy cow! Mega Vortex has already convinced it's our best show ever. Um, this is a great photo Love of to Tony Cox, here, though. Woo! Uh, all right, well, here, here, just just to put a button on everything. Thank you so much to everybody that came out, including, of course, Ali Spagnolo uh, and Andrew Allen. Please go to uh, visit Ali Spagnola on Twitter at Ali Spagnola. She's got a new video of her shotgunning a beer in a wife beater and underwear that I think everybody should see because it's uh, very. It's adorable. Uh, it is adorable and and it's very funny. Uh, and then also Andrew Allen, nice. Smooth Federation. That's the album. Uh, and as I as I teased on the morning stream on my my appearance on the morning stream this morning. There is conversations between me and Andrew Allen. We're in the beginning stages of recording an album, me and him, of complete boodle deedle doo love songs. So please get ready for that. Justin. Yeah. And I'm not saying this because I've been drinking, but has anybody ever told you a damn handsome man? <laughs> uh, no, no, sir. But you want to know what? I'll tell you. I think right now there's a lot of mojo going on between me and you, Corey. I feel like there, there's we're building a bridge here. You know, a bridge you know. to Asgard. What I yeah. what I love is like the one thing Corey doesn't want is for you to think it's the booze talking. He wants you to know that this, this is comes from the from, heart. This, this comes is... from the heart and the pouted booty hole from me, man. I want to let you know that you're in that hotel room alone, right? <laughs> you know. I am. I'm just well. I'm just here sitting in my Richmond oh, hotel room by crap. myself. Blanistan. I realize there's one other. We, we got to do pl- I'll tell you who this episode is brought to you by is uh, freaking John Tilton and his efforts to help make these collector's <laughs> items possible. Oh, yes. uh, yeah, one of the things that we definitely did during uh, Dragon Con was sell uh, the brand new 2012 edition Diamond Club t shirts as worn today on Techzilla, I believe, by Veronica Belmont. Oh, dude. And right now uh, by, by Brian. They are available now to you. Uh, on the internet for the first time, and I'll guarantee you these things are going to be sold out before we're done with this show. So if you're listening on the podcast, pound sand. You don't get any. Uh, <laughs> That's not true. I mean, they, they, they may be available. There's some of them that we're actually going to take pre-orders on fulfilling. But I'll tell you this much. The actual, uh, take a look right here. If you go to schwood.com, here, I'll, 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 give you, I'll explain. If you go to my website, schwood.com, and you go down on the right side. It they says "Buy Cool Jesus Stuff." That's on, well, because that's what I was blessing the the homeless, the wretched. <laughs> yeah, I was giving it. them the world, and now you're making fun of it. Uh, but go, <laughs> go, go to schwood.com and click on "Buy Cool Stuff" there on the front page, and you'll see this page right here where you can get. Uh, they got three different colors. They got red on black, black on red, and black on gray. Violence, uh, which. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, and all of them say I, I we don't have the back here. I'll have to I'll have to go in here. I don't know if you can see right there. It says NSFW. Um, in kind of the, yeah, Dragon Con three equals 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 D. Yeah, kind of a Dragon three equals 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 D. Hey, uh, yeah, go ahead. I just want to say, man. Yeah, keep, no, keep, keep keep going. I want to interrupt this. No, okay. Oh no. Well, we're just pointing. We're here's what happened last year. We mentioned it, and 20 minutes later, they were sold out. And the, apparently, the site broke. <laughs> really. You know what, man? I want to just say, and I'm be I'm being sincere about this. I am so goddamn proud of you. <laughs> I, and, and, and I'm not. You, you I know, know you're looking for this to go in in the way of a joke, but no. I'm, you're you are one of my heroes. You you have the greatest entrepreneurial spirit I've ever seen. Yeah, I, we. I'm gonna be look. I don't want to go on this rant that I went to the other day, but we are screwing up on on our end, on our side. What? I even say, yes, yes. And we, I look at you as I often point to you to say this is what we should be doing. Got yourself merchandising. You make, yeah. You're out there promoting yourself. Got yourself a, a pretty boy sidekick. And <laughs> I am, I am so, I, I am so honored to know you, well, man. Well, dude, I'll tell you what, man. I uh, of all the things, I mean, I, I seriously like, like it, the only thing that killed here. Let's get the. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, there there okay. we go. Ching, I'll just get bing, ding, ding like that. Ding. Uh, like the, the oh, one thing crazy. that makes me sad is that our schedules have both gotten so busy that the only time we get to hang out is on the show. But on the one hand, like I, w- I wouldn't trade moments like this for anything because this is real life exactly how it is, whether there's no camera or not. It's actually you know? worse. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, I do want to point right out. Now. I do want to point out something. People are saying that the, this was a Squarespace group. I think that we linked to another site. Yeah. Squarespace doesn't go down. Uh, Unlike Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't know what just happened, but okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm drinking. <laughs> he's, he's very popular at, at the cons uh, there, Corey. He's not Neil Gaiman, of course, the decorated oh, famous author. He's a... Uh, He's a real, real rake out there. He's gay. He's Neil, hey, Neil Gay. Neil Gay Man does so. Does gay he, man. Well, you have to kneel a lot to be gay, so you That's know right. exactly. if you're gonna reach I'm that good juicy kneeling. area. So hey, the new NSFW shirts, I banged them in the butt. Oh, it's me, Neil Gay Man, telling <laughs> jokes. And why does he talk like Macho Man? Is that just happening? Because, that's, uh, because all of Justin's characters are basically he has a funny voice and then he repeats the name of the character himself. And so as a result, they all sound like Macho and then Man. And sometimes they have uh, like like uh, little buttons that don't include actual words. Like Neil Gaiman often ends jokes like, Hey, I met a guy today. And then I went, yeah, Neil Gaiman here. <laughs> All right, so people are uh, <laughs> scared now, man. <laughs> so this is uh... kind of scared and aroused. I heard you have those powdered booty holes, Corey. Ooh, Ooh, now you're, you're talking my language. A piece of it. Oh, so where yeah. are you? What, where, where, what state are you in right now? Besides Virginia. A state of horniness. I know you want for me. I know you want me. And I want well, you, man. And I want to come there and be company right now. How, where, where are you right now? What? Jesus, Corey. I'm, what? I'm, what? Hey, what? look, man. What? I, I, I said it. No, I'm I'm up front with mine, okay? <laughs> yeah, come on, man. You know, come Listen, on. Don't... Neil Kamen's here. He's very <laughs> up front with everything. Amazing. Don't need Neil. All right, so so uh, back to back to uh, the website. People are saying, uh, remember, it's not this is not Squarespace failing. It's a uh, jump seller that's being overloaded. So I'm sure you can find it. There's other if, if uh, hopefully John Tilton would. I would think he would be in the chat room to watch this. Um, but if not, then screw him. Schwood.jumpseller.com. There's so the way to go you to sell history. T-shirts in a matter of minutes, just like that. Apparently, allegedly, I, allegedly. Well, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna sell out this run and then uh we were we were talking earlier maybe 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 actually you want to know what no there's gonna be no more t-shirts after this if you want one buy it right now that's it and if, if they're sold out after they're all gone then kill yourself <laughs> and there we go as you can see commander shepherd as played by Tony. i love it um, I love that the, the, that the donut is actually taking a crap in Tony Cox's ear right there. That's some. That, that is a, that. That's a sex act if I've ever seen one. I actually I think that's what. I have the weirdest boner right now, and I have no idea why. All hey right. there, Justin. You ever so, had the old Dookie ear before? <laughs> 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 you ever had the old Colombian Q-tip? <laughs> Did you say the Colombian Q-tip? <laughs> is that what it's called? <laughs> With so many powders in their backside and then defecates into someone's ear. I think they're really into it. That and cocaine sales in Colombia. They only Q-tip. do two things. A Colombian Q-tip. All right. <laughs> I'm Jose Cox. I only like two things. I like dust things. Pooping in guys' ears. And... I like the nothing. way Cubans have turned Italian all of a sudden. <laughs> he announced his name hey. twice. You want that was, that was like a 10%, hey. like a 10% thing. Oh, I once pooped in the ear of a little black midget. Hey. <laughs> It's me, the Colombian Q tip. <laughs> oh that sounds like a wrestler. It turns out it turns out that Colombian Q tip is like Former <laughs> Intercontinental Champion and first class pooper in people's ears, the Colombian Q tip. <laughs> and he comes out like his he's graduated from his previous career of uh singing with the Colombian tribe called Quest. <laughs> it's a Colombian Q tip. <laughs> It's that is so, that's so bad, man. It's so bad that it's adorable. It really is. And the way you just roll back and just laugh at your own joke. Oh, I'm crazy. I got a million of them. No. But it's like, all right, all right. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Man. No, <laughs> that was, I like the patronizing tap on the shoulder. No, no, seriously, it's adorable. You're selling shirts. No, this is patronizing right there. You're selling shirts. Oh, you sell oh, your no, little shirts. Great. Oh, I'll tell you what. Do you Put sell lemonade on a stand, too? I do. I sell, <laughs> I sell lemonade and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh wait, are we already out of shirts? I just saw somebody say that I'm depressed because there are no shirts left. I, I keep done? trying. It's everything is a lie. I'm sure. Uh, okay, so um. Justin, let's say we actually do the bit that we planned for today. You want to do the bit? Oh, let's do the bit. Let's do the All right. bit. All right. Uh, my my crappy internet is is locked up here on the chat room. So Brian, you're gonna have to help me out. Everybody, type in the chat room the name of a movie and something you'd like to see in it. Let's actually start while people get theirs in with Star Wars and boobs because I was thinking about this today after we talked about it. I got I got a scene. Okay. Then what we'd like to do Hit me is, is is get the scene. So here's the deal. We open on a shot of just, uh, and it might even be uh, Mara Jade. It's a, so we go we go to, like, uh, uh, it, this is A New Hope, right? Yeah, so oh, no, well, okay, is the, sure. Is it the prequels or the new story? Yeah, the no, new, it's A New Hope, right? All right. And so we, we see someone who we won't see in the flesh until Jedi, but we just see the, the chick dancing from Jabba's Palace uh, with her boobs, fat, just titty balls. Right <laughs> titty balls. So wait, okay, uh, okay. Yet what? another dessert. <laughs> <laughs> what a bakery we're gonna have. <laughs> I like uh, three titty balls and one uh, powdered booty hole. <laughs> <laughs> to go, 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 go. Oh, and uh, I would like one Colombian Q-tip. All right. <laughs> so uh, we pan out and we see that it's a magazine. And Luke's jerking it. <laughs> Wait, and he's, so, still, he's still on Tatooine, and Uncle Ben and Aunt Beru rouse him to go do chores. <laughs> so that's it. That's, that's boobs in Star Wars. Uh, man, I guess I, I, I can't, I can't describe what that makes me feel. <laughs> Hot. So I guess, I guess you win. I guess that's, I can't, I, I've got no counter for that. I can't imagine it. And so there we go. See, it it starts off as just a kid, J. Owen, in his room looking at. Wait a minute. How is this born? How how does this work? Are we just coming up with scenarios? Are we acting these out? No, no, no. We're just coming. We're just help. We're re 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 rewriting. We're working it out in our minds. Okay, rewriting. Okay. Okay. So here, let's uh, go ahead. You guys hit it up uh, uh, over here. I I believe I saw. Um, oh man, (laughs) hold on. (laughs) I'm seeing some. I'm seeing some examples that I can't go with. Um, the photo guy 79 says, please, please do not act them out. <laughs> Give us a movie and something that is awesome. Universally awesome. That needs to right, go. People in. say wizard of Oz with zombies. How would, how would you work in a zombie? That's zombies? too easy. That's too easy. Yeah. Because it's like, uh, well, let's power through it. If it's so goddamn yeah, easy. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> wow. You got mad about that. <laughs> all right. So, uh, <laughs> basically they, they encounter the, the, the scarecrow and he's all jolly and happy or whatever. And then, like, but also earlier they had found, like, a bunch of clothes. Uh, and then they're like, why are we carrying all these clothes? They throw them in a cornfield. But it lands on the cornfield in such a way that, like, corn zombies come out. And they're like, corn zombies eat brains. And they're like, that makes no sense. But then they're on the run. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> that's, that's what brings. They're doing the whole Wizard of Oz thing. They land on a witch. There's um, the lollipop field and everything. And then corn zombies happen. And Dorothy's like, that don't make any sense. That's big. <laughs> exactly. But then they chase her down and like, Mah. and then like only, only her, um, like squeezing Toto and Toto fertilizing them or something uh, defeats them. That's, that's, that's all I got. And then they have, then they have a Colombian Q-tip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What do you got? How would you put zombies in? I don't put zombies in things. Well, oh, come on. I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that? Well, what I'd do is I would take Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and have Tony Cox play every Loompa Loompa in there. <laughs> you have hundreds of little black midgets with green perms running around. All right. No, that's not bad. Okay. See, I would like to see Willy Wonka with Tony Cox playing every role. <laughs> <laughs> like Willy Wonka, Veruca Salt, Charlie Bucket, and the whole How smear. about if we reverse that? How about if we have Willy Wonka played by Midget? Who's running like a, a a hard labor camp with adults? I mean, not without adults. I'm sorry. With, that's, a, that, that's offensive. But <laughs> with uh, with tall people. <laughs> with adults. I like adults too. But <laughs> people in the can right wear adult here. clothes. How about that? <laughs> sorry, little people of the world. <laughs> You do wear children's clothes, though. but I. Okay, all right. But I don't mean anything bad by that. You know, children's clothes are usually cheaper. But 
I'm saying, how would that, that would be actually kind of cool. You have a guy who's running a candy factory who's taking his vengeance out on people who are taller than him. Okay, no, I can totally see that. Now, what's his plan? Like, does he lace the candy with something in order to get them to, uh, to, to like, like with, with growth stunting formula or cyanide or what? Yeah, it does. He gets, he's, he, first of all, these people who are running this place, yes. people, people don't know that there are tall people being held as slaves who are making all tall this stuff. People, tall slaves. people. Tall people. Yeah. Are they, doing, are they doing the same thing as, cause like there was a, there was a mystical element but, of the But let me tell you what it does. The, the reason why he's, he's doing this is because he has a secret formula that he's putting in every candy and it's, and it's the most popular candy in the world. And at one point it's going to do something to make people's legs burn off at the knees. <laughs> So it's not it's not that they actually reduce their height. It's just you just chop off the bottom. It just third it of just the, collapses. The one day he's walking around, and the and cartilage sort of melts and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but is this is this like one of those like supervillain plans where it's like once he turns on like the laser, like it activates the ingredients he that everybody's eating? Press the button and it releases it something. Eight? Yeah, it releases something in the air, some sort of some some sort of virus where it causes people's legs to melt off at the knees. But get this. This is the thing, though. He even has a deeper plan. Only he knows the one secret surgery that can sew feet to knees and actually <laughs> work well. All right, now keep in mind, like, sewing feet to knees won't even help their position that much, but just, like, like four, it'll get them four more inches. But, like, in the land of the of the no-footed people, the one-footed man is king. No, is what it no. Is. you want to know what? Because also the secret surgery is part of it is that it actually puts a joint in your thigh. <laughs> so you actually have little new knees. Yeah, they, I like that. I like that. God, See, why no, can't you think like that, man? You guys, you know, you guys are good. I'll tell you, I got, I got nah. distracted by this. Uh, special. Oh my God! Right, right over here. A special report. Jump seller just tweeted that there was system update. That's why it went down. System update. All back to normal now. Sorry for the inconvenience. So now you can head on over, and it should all be there for you. There we go. Also, all right. we got Buy this. All the shirts. We so got we this can... important update right there. There's, there's <laughs> that for you right, right okay. now. Did somebody make that gift? <laughs> Amazing. Uh, yeah, man. All right. So, what else we got? Give us another movie and another way to improve it. Can I actually end this story? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. No, no. no. no I just thought of something. Yeah. Okay. Go. His, yeah. his demise is that he doesn't. He doesn't account for the fact that people still have long arms. <laughs> So it's his hubris. He didn't calculate. Yeah, yeah, he didn't calculate that. And one of the the, the irony is somebody one of the pe one of the people who have uh, you know little stumps for legs actually can reach out to him and they catch him and they choke the, sh uh, the, you know, the crap out of him. <laughs> Near belt. That yeah. was amazing. There uh, you go. Right. Uh, hold on, call wait. Call so him. then, how does the whole Charlie Bucket thing work? Like, why is he inviting kids into the factory if he's just like looking to like mutilate the does, entire he, populace? He's not doing that. <laughs> I took that whole part out. <laughs> We're cutting the whole thing with the golden ticket. We're cutting no. the whole thing with, with the with the songs and the kids. It's just a horrifying story. This is revisionist. <laughs> okay. This is amazing. I revisioned. <laughs> By the way, your vision is speaking of your vision, it's already a reality right there. <laughs> <laughs> Quick! That's what I'm talking about. Quick! I love it. Quick on the draw. <laughs> Amazing. There wow. it is. Tony Cox is all I tell you what, these... making his impression felt on this episode. I haven't seen a man with, with such an impression on an NSFW episode. You know, I, I love it, by the way, uh, uh, John Strickland is accusing you of just having a reverse version of Django Unchained. Is that true? Can you respond to that? Django, how is that related to Django Unchained? I don't, I don't know. That's that's. I only saw the preview, so I have does, no... Does Django make people's legs melt off at the knees? <laughs> well, he just goes around and kills white people. Well, how does that... I never say, my, see, this is that's no racism on that, my story. That is, that's so interesting. You see color on that, bro. Yeah. I, <laughs> All right. Now he does. There are side effect of that. Black people's penises do get longer. <laughs> <laughs> Because, well, no, because, like, honestly, if you just got people on at the knee, oh, Jesus. <laughs> but that's because he was he was also had a side experiment where he was trying to make his own penis longer. So, well, no, you know, no. Really like... There's nothing that happens with black people's penises getting longer. It's just that if you cut people off at the knees, then the black penises that normally dangle <laughs> are now on the floor. I know. You got little tripods everywhere. <laughs> Amazing. Sickle cell opinia is what I like to call <laughs> What the hell is this? Oh, did you not see this? This is a guy who really likes his dog really loves. <laughs> it's a, it's a... Well, your viewers' long arms are really hard at work tonight, aren't they? 
I let me. Can I just say? All right, go ahead. I am so proud to have been a part of this moment. I feel like there is some kind of history, no matter how stupid it is, being made. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. I love it. All right, so uh, uh, give us give us another movie. What, what else needs to be fixed? What movies out there that everyone thinks are are we got now, Mad Max? Guys, people keep giving us like very very specific things. Don't give us specific things. We need a general thing that's like a movie trope that just see, isn't see, in that movie. Yeah, so, like, like people like are saying a, Serenity a, a, a with Robin a a, a a gunpoint standoff in something that doesn't have. Can that. I like, can I can I apply breast to yes to the to the 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 seek the prequels of Star Wars. Sure, let's go. I think let's roll with that. Anakin's mom go on. should have these these huge bags, right? <laughs> these huge bags filled with movie, money. She, without the movie, she should be lact lactating midichlorians. <laughs> That's All right. Me. Okay. How about this? I like Rich that we just she just blew me off. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Your mother is uh, like the thing with the Korean seas. How about this? The first place is the best part, right, sir. Why? We... You uh, make mess all over the wall, Mrs. Anakin. Uh, fix the goddamn hyperdrive. All right. So. Uh, Thank you for hearing me, Justin. What, this, what this about this? Just blew me well, off. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry because I finally saw something in there that I thought was good. Oh, okay. Uh, so. What about the Muppet movie? Oh, my movie? God. Stupid thing that came out of your mouth. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, uh, genius. Okay, uh, no. What about okay. the Muppet movie with a sex scene? What would the sex scene be in the Muppet movie? Or we'll say the Muppets, because that one's more recent in my memory, uh, right? Uh, I have it. All right. Oh, you do. Yeah, I do. All right, go on. Uh, Kermit the Frog says, "I feel like Chinese tonight." Piggy, what about sweet and sour pork? And then she rips her underwear off and <laughs> sit, sits on his face. <laughs> But it's, it's got to be like and, true to the character, so like Kermit's like, 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 oh, that's not what I was talking about, and she's like, <laughs> and then you see two little frog legs hanging out from between her legs. I, I think this is adorable. I think that's cute. Uh, that actually sounds <laughs> fantastic. Nuts. You know, we can, we can, that's like the, the, the Burger King kids toy is you just, you know, you twist the bag of his piggy and the little, uh, the little frog legs start <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> All right, so what else? We got um, 2001 A Space Odyssey with more than two characters who talk. <laughs> uh, all right, what else? All right, so yeah, no, it's it's the main dude and Hal, and then me, Neil Gaiman. I'm in 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yeah. You're like, you're like you're the guy who's he's, he's totally hairy and he's walking around just in a like a Hawaiian shirt buttoned up and no pants. So you're always seeing his hairy man ass and he's just like, oh, look at you playing your chess games. Why don't you have sex with each other like me, Neil Gaiman? Hey. <laughs> what about if we cross? What about if we cross? Uh, let's see. The Lion King, with that lion movie that Val Kilmer did. Which which lion movie? The, the ghost lion that kills people. I don't. I forgot what. The it was ghost called. lion that kills. <laughs> the ghost <laughs> lion that kills people. My favorite. My, starring me, Neil Gaiman. <laughs> the ghost lion. People are saying ghost in the darkness. I guess there that you, was not a killer. There you go. The ghost in the darkness. Yes. Uh, you actually see Val Kimmer's head in the background as uh, Simba gets a talking to from uh, from, James, name, from Earl James Earl Jones. Jones yeah, yes. no, I'm I'm down with that. Where, where does Neil Gaiman fit in? Uh, in a very uh, tight what, what about, right, That's about, right. <laughs> I saw there uh, Medea goes to jail, uh, featuring a cameo by Mitt Romney. How do we work Mitt Romney in to Medea goes to jail? This is this is the part where Justin and I both go. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> because Nick because Gose Corey is a film critic and right. had to watch the movie exactly, and he's most qualified to comment on a Medea movie because he's he's a, a film critic. Yes, exactly. I hate it when film critics just don't pay for any movies. I like the way you say film critic when what you really mean is he's black and has most likely seen this movie out of what? everybody in this room. What? <laughs> what? 
Oh, a black film critic, I mean. Leo no, Laporte, what I mean you that, say? No, I mean that film critics are constantly interrupting the movie <laughs> because they're writing <laughs> notes about things. And you know what? I go, to, I go to movies and film critics are always shouting advice to the characters as they go oh, around yeah, on screen. Yeah. What? Every now and then they shoot each other. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy. It's easy. I know. Mitt Romney is about. He's he's ahead in the polls. Okay. He's about to win it, and then it comes out that he was having sex with Medea. That's oh. been his sugar oh. on the side. Oh, yeah. Easy. Boom. But then. And, and so like it's like it's like the night before the election or whatever, and then all of a sudden, like in the middle of the crowd, like right. he's doing is like, like I'm Mitt Romney, and I believe that America is great. And then all of a sudden, in the back. Oh no! Oh no! It's Medea, and she comes right. up and for some and then reason. Here's what happens: stage. is all the crusty old white men are all like, "Well, it's all over for you." But what he doesn't expect is this makes him super popular. So now, <laughs> so now, like, like he wins By the black vote. He wins. He wins the black vote. Yes, no, it but, but, transfers. But, but, over. Then, but it's got to end with Mitt no, Romney. This is the first five minutes. Medea goes to the White House. Yes, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Already so, written the first five minutes. But Medea goes like, to the White House. Then, like he's like, got to do a rap because like the. the the crusty old white men are just like, well, maybe you should run with this. And then, you know, it goes, wick, 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 and he turns around, he's got the sunglasses on, he does the white person rap. And there's always one old white guy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you gotta have that one guy. Yeah. <laughs> Elbows locked. Elbows locked the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Funky! <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, this is the old the old contributors like oh I don't know I uh, I think there's something to this. Right? <laughs> you need to try. You need to rap about what's important to you. you no, Remney, uh, Remney, whatever. <laughs> Remney, Remney. Yeah, Remney Baratheon know, is who you're you, thinking of. You know, Romney, you just started to get popular with the black people. Obama has nothing on you. You know, <laughs> I say you keep talking about this woman. You know, make out with her. You know, all kind of stuff. <laughs> You want to know the funniest part about this is how shockingly close this is to the actual plot of Bulwark. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wow. <laughs> These people are quick. How are you? All right, what do you got, chat room? Bring us another one. We're writing the hits right here, man. This is all money in the bank. And you actually have to have Medea get up. In, in the middle of the press conference and say, I've tasted that sugar powdered booty hole more than once. <laughs> well, that's what it's got to be. Like, he's got he's to be given a big speech at the end. It's like it all boils down to, like, the last voter has about to, he's about to vote, and then he's given a speech to one person, but then Medea just pushes him aside and then tells it like it is, and then he goes, cha-ching! That you, how's that? Cha -ching! That, that would be, that'd be so, so this is actually, like, a, a sequel to Kevin Costner's film swing vote yes well yeah. it's actually an absorbing uh, of it hold on let's just cut it let's take a look over this <laughs> there's a uh, there's <laughs> brian justin and Corey. and dookie nuts <laughs> amazing don't forget the dookie nuts but what why You've got a growth in your face of where you have a microphone permanently implanted, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you ghosts? Because wow. that's, that's the way that's, the Photoshop that's crumbles. That's like genitalia is still like stuck to my microphone right there. All right, so. give us another one. Give us another one because we only got so much more time before we get canceled. Uh -huh. So you got, you got – oh, my God. It's been great being on the last stuff. NSFW. <laughs> you, it truly has been amazing. Why do you keep having me here, man? Uh, because we love you. We sincerely love you. And we're we, – Oh, hold on. We already have there you go. That's what I'm talking post. about. <laughs> yes. Where Medea goes to the White House. With the quickness. Yes. I like to look at Mitt Romney. He's like that. <laughs> that's actually funny. That, this is, and you can look this up on Wikipedia. That's actually the face that Mitt Romney makes right before he ejaculates. <laughs> <laughs> you can look it up on Wikipedia. And the thing he's jacking off to Medea when he's doing he's, it. He so. says he thinks freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Hey, uh, did you read a tweet from Mitt Romney? I'm not kidding. Where I, I you, Justin, went, Brian, you, you guys tell me. Did you hear about the, some of the tweets he was sending out? No. He's like, uh, these black kids today don't like hunkies. And it that's was, there's no way that's that true. somebody was writing tweets like that. Maybe it wasn't him. <laughs> 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 They call me a giant 
turkey today. I'm headed to the W show. Remember, be here for election night. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm to, asking. I didn't say that was it. it. I didn't just... This Week in Libel, our newest <laughs> show. It's fantastic. <laughs> we are on Tuesdays, obviously. Uh, <laughs> next night is on Tuesdays. <laughs> We have Corey back on to, to help us on our election Good coverage. commentary on the election. <laughs> oh, my God. Amazing. <laughs> I just want to point out, number one, I hope somebody takes that YouTube clip out of Corey's breakdown of election 2008. Did you see that tweet that Mitt Romney wrote about how honkies don't like black people? Ah, you want to know what? It probably wasn't Mitt Romney. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. I, asked, I didn't say it was true. I asked if you had heard that. <laughs> It's like soft slander. That's your new technique. All right. I'll pass the same yeah, as one Listen, do you guys hear this? I don't know. I have no idea. But that Barack Obama thing where he was talking about how white Jews are really destroying everybody through radio waves. I mean, I mean I'm not saying I saw that tweet. I'm asking if you saw it because. I, I thought I heard somebody say I heard that the Jews. Say. To shoot radio waves out of their horns <laughs> and uh, melt your brain. <laughs> was that? I think it was on at Barack Obama. On it, oh, it's not there. He he probably deleted it. You know, you could do that on Twitter. You could take back your tweets. That's what's going on. Tell me what I heard, people. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> uh, my man was about the homeless guy down the street. I can't remember. <laughs> Amazing. All right. So uh people are saying Toy Story ad Medea, but uh but that's uh, we need something that we haven't touched on before. Okay. Uh I don't know. I kind of feel like we should just keep adding Medea. <laughs> oh, since so, so you add if we can add Medea to everything? Yeah, just that this is like the guile theme goes with everything. Medea should be in every movie. There isn't a movie that Medea wouldn't make better. Shawshank Redemption. Right, Imagine if Medea <laughs> is she's in the prison with uh, Tim Robbins and what's his face? Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, uh, the other one. The other, the, the, you know, the, the other Medea. Yeah, the other. <laughs> that's, I like the way it just be, that's become a term for black people tonight. The, black, the other <laughs> film critic. He's there with that film critic. I like the way like I like the way Brian's kids when they're down the street. Look, Daddy, I'm Medea. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder I wonder if she critiques films. <laughs> All, right. All right. So um... I'm a Diaz president, Daddy. <laughs> oh my oh. god. All right, do we want to do we want to attempt one of these we other want ones? to say goodbye? This has been a great run on NSFW, and I'm sorry we're canceled, everybody, but we just had to have Corey back on. Uh, we came in with a bag, we went out with a bag. This is awesome. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is this is my week. My week ain't even. It's Tuesday. My week is done. This, is, this has been great. It don't get any better than this. All right, l last chance. Uh, we, you could either have us add Medea to a movie, or mm -hmm. we could uh, we could shut this down. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy crossed with Shoot 'Em Up. Oh, that was such. Oh, did did you like Shoot 'Em Up? I never saw Shoot 'Em Up. I never saw Shoot 'Em Up. You I... totally did because I watched your review, didn't I? Because you were talking about how you wanted to bust that that pimple on on freaking uh, what's his name's bad guy's face. But I didn't see it though. I, th I think I just made a joke based oh. on the trailer. Oh. And I I did I did see some of it. I saw where Clive Owen actually killed someone with the carrot. Yes, yes, through the face and all that. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what. I watched. How about the... this? Look at this. Hard candy with Medea. All right. So. Ooh, wait. What's hard page is torture and homeboy. And, you know, there's, like, that really awkward cameo by Sandra O oh for, like, no apparent reason in Hard Candy. We just straight up replaced that with Hold Medea. On. Uh, what, uh, by the way, uh, we've got we've got uh, the tweet right there from, from at Mitt Romney. <laughs> See? <laughs> all right. See, I told you. I told you. I'm not ta told you it wasn't crazy. That's and that looks so authentic, man. That's his typing uh, uh, right there. Uh, uh, well, so he said that they don't link us, homies. Honkies, uh, so honkies. really, he's just complaining about how there's no link back <laughs> amongst the Negroes and the honkies. Just, just saying, like, like my man Mitt Romney. Just saying, <laughs> Negroes. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> Ghostbusters. Again, uh, election, your number one spot for election coverage. We're going over the entire <laughs> electoral map uh, this election day. Tune in to NSFW live here on the Twin Network. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> Dude, right. I want to get a map. I want to get a green screen map in the studio, and I'm just going to be going county by county. It's going to be great. 
God, I can't. I can't even imagine things getting any better than what we've touched on already. I feel like we should wrap it up now. What you got? Anything you want to plug or talk about before we wrap things up? Yes, I would like to plug a new Madea movie that I'm. <laughs> 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 no, I no, no, I have nothing to plug, man. I'm just happy to be here. Well, I'm tell gonna... people about Spill, because a lot of people might not know about Spill. Yeah, yeah. Is there a particularly good review that we could show, like three or four minutes of, or no, something? No, no, it don't work. What? Spill, Spill.com. Go check it out. It's 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 fun. We have a lot of you know. Go check out the podcast. We have a lot of great podcasts on there. Uh, uh, I'll like, tell you what. Like like, let's do this. Let's do this. A couple, couple of cold, cold ones. ones. Yeah. The League of Extremely Ordinary Gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, the the video game show, The Loading Bar. Dude, yeah. which. Uh, which I had a blast performing for, right. for, the, for their happy hour thing. Uh, some people said it was the funniest I've ever been, which I believe because it was like there was something about that game and just the riffing. We, and like at some point, I postulated a superhero called the Crystal Corn Dog who had corns on his feet that had turned into diamonds and he kicks Ooh. people. <laughs> he kicks people with a diamond. You get it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. The Crystal Corn Dog. You don't mess with him. <laughs> it's all, it makes sense in there. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, the they're, uh, the spill reviews. I always, I like for this reason, a lot of reviews want to kind of seem clever and make a point before other film critics make them. And they kind of rush to do spoilery stuff that like, if you haven't seen the movie, like it's like, like they're writing for other film critics. What I love about spill is that you guys know you have a very like viewer centric review. Well, you we, tell them, yeah. you make jokes about it that uh, like that people who just watched the trailer and have yet to go see the movie. Uh, kind of have, and, and there's one joke specifically that sticks to me to this day that I love with Spill, which is during the X Men First Class review, and all all they do is just say, uh, like there's something that we just don't want to get into, and then they just had just a still frame of of the one black superhero that's in the movie for like five seconds before he gets killed. <laughs> 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 and it was, it was just one of those things where it's like. I knew that there was something about it, and it was going to be really funny when I saw the movie. And I saw the movie, and I laughed really hard when he died, which was very inappropriate and uh, annoying for everybody else in the theater <laughs> yeah. but because of the Spill.com review. There we go. We're continuing to ruin people's movie-watching experiences no matter what That's we right. do. I'm, I'm sure they thought it was a film critic. No, you know what, man? Thank you, and I appreciate that. And listen, I, you know, we, we, uh, we, I. I guess to break it down, we're stupid, so we can't really be as smart as the average critic. So we <laughs> we we play on our strength. So no, we thank you, Justin. I really appreciate. That. Well, I, I just I, I really I hate. I mean, and there are sites that I love and I read all the time, but I just I I feel like all they do is they read other people's reviews and they want to write a different review than that. And a lot of times it gets into this escalation of themes and plot points and You're right. you know things Everybody... that like. That are just ruin the movie if you haven't seen it. Everybody so, wants I, to be clever, man. That's the thing. Everybody's out there trying to. It, what I hate is, I, have you ever listened to a review? Where sure. You, you can tell the, where the, the 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 guy who's doing the review wants to be a writer. And yes. He, and oh yeah, he wants to be making movies, but instead he's gonna he's gonna crap all over this other movie. So uh, so you're talking about Roger no, Ebert's reviews? No, no. Well, no, no. Not even, I've listened to some NPR reviews. mm Hmm. Where the guy, you know, somebody will be giving a review and they won't tell you what they like about the movie because they're too busy trying to be a writer. At the end of the yeah. review ends with, and like a lovely song, it sang itself into the sunset. This <laughs> like, so what the hell did you think about it? You yeah. know, it's like it's opening on a beautiful tableau of modern Manhattan, made in Manhattan, starts with the glistening celebrity that is, you know, like, and yeah, then exactly. it's like, oh yeah, it sucks. It's boring. Trying to be too literary. Oh my god, yeah. that's hot, man. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie. Whoever did that is. Just... <laughs> right. yeah, that one. So, what were we talking about again? I'm, can I borrow some sugar? I'm no. about to go <laughs> stick my ass cheeks in there right <laughs> now. All right, all right. <laughs> hey, 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 wait a minute! You stop that, man. <laughs> Don't let me talk like this. What Padre, Padre SJ is is an ordained priest who uh, uh, follows our show and just well, he just walked into the room saying, "Who did Tad blow? What what? <laughs> who did Tad blow? Who, who did? <laughs> this is the Haggerty Hibby. <laughs> <laughs> you alright uh, there, sir? I think I am. I think it's better Man, than this usual. Been, this has been fun. This you has been a good time. And, and Justin, no, check, check out check out spell and, and Corey. What do you want Twitter? Because I always forget your goddamn Twitter handle. Uh, I think I'm. Powder booty hole. Yeah, Twitter.com or something like that. Now, I, 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 people find me on Twitter all the time. 
So I don't know what goes on with that, man. Yeah, after, like, after, after I leave the show, you're K Cool Man, aren't you? After, course, everything is K Cool, K -Cool Man. man at, K Cool yeah. Man. I don't know. After, all I know is after I leave the show, I get about a hundred Twitter invites uh, or people who follow. So, uh, you know what, Justin? I, I know I don't mean to keep licking each other's uh, pow powdered booty <laughs> holes powder, here, but yeah. <laughs> but I, you you crack me the hell up, man. You really do. Oh, uh, dude, listen, you are easily the funniest person that's ever been on this show. And uh, we always love having you on. Dude, and somebody so asked why I don't follow you. And it's like right there, sucker. It says following right there. Badoom. Corey Boom. Cohen. There you Corey go. Cohen. K Cool Man. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that's K Cool Man on Twitter. Well, listen, okay. Corey, number one, you guys need, you got to bring out the whole crew to Dragon Con next year. Uh, and I'll say this next time I'm in Austin, we're definitely hanging out. Oh, I'm making, this, is, this is a thing. Got it's to, not man. a thing. It's become a thing as of now. If yeah. you don't come to Austin, I'll come and get you. Yeah. Yes. I'm All waiting right. here. I'm Neil Gaiman here in Richmond. Yeah. All right. And with that, I guess it's time to wrap this horse it's crap up. It's done already? It's already. It's been over an hour, man. It's, it was. We had a good time. Quick. It was very fast. Man, that was so much this fun. This is what, if you want it's more, you have to join us live so, so that you can follow along and be part of the chat room. Look at this. And let me tell you people something. Next time you have me on, I'm actually going to bring, this is no lie, I'm going to bring a box of, a box of powder covered boots. <laughs> I thought you were about to say you are going to bring a pox. A, a pox upon your a pox show. A pox on both your houses. A pox upon a pox of poot, a pooty poles on your, on your show. No, this has been, this has been great, man. Damn, goddamn, boy. I'm just, I'm just saying. It was fast. Yeah. All right, man. All, all that's left to say is uh, I'll see you next Tuesday. I had a fire. Love you. Love you all. Oh, I'd rather be dipped in honey and fed to a big ant pile than to do without Justin Robert Young for even a little while. Oh, NSFW. I love you. Oh, NSFW. I love you.